Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. I just did a 10 minute morning yoga session. I actually don't even like yoga, but since all the gyms are closed, I've started to do this 10 minute morning yoga routine and it actually really makes a difference to my day because 10 minutes is too short to actually think about it. So by the time that you've got your mat out and you've done your stretches, it's done. It kind of wakes you up. So I've been enjoying doing that. I thought I would film because Actually, a few months ago, somebody from work told me that to film anything within a hospital without their permission was a suckable offence. Oh my god, that's my alarm. I should be setting off right now, so I'm going to be quick. And obviously, that's very scary. Like, I don't want to get into trouble. The only reason I make these day in the life videos is to show you guys what a true day in the life of pharmacist is. But ever since then, I've been like, very apprehensive and scared which is a shame because the intention of these videos is to share information and be honest so it's kind of sad that that would be that way anyway ever since then i've been like kind of demotivated and disheartened to film a day in the life but today i'm going to film one because i feel like it obviously i'm not going to film anywhere that's identifiable i'll probably just film in a toilet and just keep you updated on my day but that is the best that I can do so I hope that you appreciate it to give you like a rough background of what my day is going to look like I'm going to start the day off today on the respiratory ward and after spending time on the respiratory ward in the morning then I'm going to go downstairs and work in production which is kind of like aseptics, CVAS which involves basically looking at lots of batches of infusers and checking that there's no particles in, checking that the worksheets are all signed and up to date and stuff like that. So that's what the day is going to look like. For lunch we have some garlic bread and some tuna salad. This is literally now become one of my favourite salads. I'm obsessed with it. This dress from Topshop is actually what I'm wearing today because it's getting too small for me because, you know, I've gained weight during lockdown. But before I give it to charity, I always like to wear things for one last time. So I was like, yeah, let me just wear this and then give it away. So that is what I'm doing today. So I said this on my Instagram last night, but what I do want to say again on camera is that I always care about what people think of me and I always will care about what people think of me. But I stopped caring about what people think of what I do because the only person that has to care about that is yourself, like no one else. So if you back what you do, then that's all you need. So if there's things that you want to achieve that you're scared, hi, that you're scared of doing because you're scared of what people think of you, then I would just say like that, you know, life is way too short for that. Obviously we all want to be liked and being liked is one of my like biggest desires. But in terms of like things that I want to get done, and things that I want to do, I'm, I've just stopped thinking about what people think about that. Because at first, there is going to be resistance. People will be like, what the hell? But then in time, you'll realize that everyone's busy living their own lives and they'll just leave you to it. My mom's going to kill me for being here, but it has to be done. It is half 11 and I'm filming in a toilet. I have finished my side of the ward. Now I'm about to go downstairs and go to technical services. So now I have finished in technical services and I'm off to a meeting with my mentee because I'm a mentor for one of the pre regs Boy, am I glad to end this day. So I'm finally home and I just wanted to have a little bit of a chat. First of all, I want to say sorry if my vlog has been a bit here, there and everywhere. Obviously, I can't film in an identifiable place in the hospital. So that's why I've been filming all day in a toilet. Um, it's not been ideal, but I still wanted to take my camera and make sure that you guys felt like I was taking you around with me because it's still a day in the life, even though you can't really see anything. If you guys have any questions about life as a natural pharmacist, 
I know quite a few students do, then just leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer. In my last video, I talked about moving forwards and the importance of just letting things go and accepting how they were and acknowledging that and then accepting how it is now. I got so many emails. First of all, I got a really nice and long email from someone called Shamila. If you're watching this video, I just want to say hi. Thank you for emailing me. So today I thought I just wanted to touch on something. I fully believe in mental health. And today I want to talk about insecurities and how we can move past insecurities. And this is a very difficult thing, but I kind of feel like all insecurities should be dealt with in the way that finances are dealt with or anything that you find some, like that you don't want to face. I think insecurities have to be faced head on. You can't avoid it and push it back. I think that they're best dealt with when they're just admitted and they're out there and they're on a page, not necessarily for like anyone else, but just for yourself. And I came up with like a six step routine that I follow to deal with insecurities. So the first step is to think about what you feel. How do you actually feel? By the how do you feel, I mean like what is the insecurity? Secondly, what would be the worst case scenario or what are you most afraid of happening? Thirdly, why do you think you feel this way? Four and five kind of come hand in hand. So four is why the worst case scenario is likely to happen. And five is why it's not likely to happen. And finally, the final step is, is there anything that you can do to prevent it from happening? So I'm gonna give you an example. So for example, like this is not my insecurity, but one of my friends is always scared of getting cheated on. Number one, what are you, what are you afraid of getting cheated on? Number two, what would be the worst case scenario being cheated on and my partner leaving me for someone else? Three, why do you feel this way? because I was cheated on in the past. Four, reasons why I think it would happen, and reasons why I think it won't happen. And finally, is there anything I can do to prevent it from happening? Like I said, that's not my insecurity. Maybe I should talk about one of mine. Like around last year, someone was introduced into my life who questioned me and said, when you get married to someone, what are you gonna bring to the table financially? And I was like, what do you mean financially bring to the table? Like, what does that even mean? And he was like, what would you be able to bring to the table? If you, when you get married to someone, like what are you gonna bring? And I was like, <clears throat> I don't really have anything to bring other than myself. But that kind of comment made me feel like I'm poor. And once I had that in my mindset, I was like, oh, I'm poor. I'm not good enough because I'm poor. Maybe I'm poor. Like I have never felt this way, but I'm kind of feel poor right now. So my insecurity was at the time, which I no longer have, but it was at the time, I am poor. The worst case scenario then for me was I wouldn't be liked because I'm poor. I'm not enough because I'm poor. I'm gonna be rejected because I'm poor and I'm always gonna be poor. Like those were my like worst case scenario situations. Why do I feel that way? Well, I felt that way because someone came into my life to make me feel that way. And I guess he still had some valid points because I didn't have anything saved and I wasn't really saving at that point. But already I felt like, oh, am I doing something wrong? But then it also felt like, it felt worse because it made me feel like I wasn't enough. So it felt that way because of someone in my life. So why is this likely to happen? Well, it's likely to happen because my salary is lower and I don't have anything saved. Why is it not likely to happen? Because I can change both of those things. And finally, is there anything I can do to prevent the worst case scenario from happening? Well, yeah, I removed that person from my life and I thought of ways that I could start to save. Then the pandemic happened and I had no choice but to stay at home and not but that was an insecurity that I had and now I faced it, like I faced it head on. Even now, like I'm much more able to be like, okay, today is a finance day. This is the day that I'm sorting up like my bills and how much money that I plan to spend on this, like spend this month and whatever. So since then it's been a lot easier. And I think that hopefully if you follow these six steps, it will give you the mindset that this is just a problem that can be dealt with, or this is something that cannot be changed and therefore I shouldn't be dwelling on. So hopefully it'll give you some form of answer. I always feel like if you have a th like a negative thought, that it's best to really hone in on that and be like, really, like, why do I feel this way? And then accept it, acknowledge it, think about it, and then think about how you can change it um, and move and move forwards from from that point. You know, at the end of the day, insecurities should not define you. So don't let them take over your life. Don't let stupid thoughts make you miserable. Really appreciate the life that you've got and you've only got one life. That's all I wanna share. I'm sorry that that kind of went a little bit off track there, um, but I hope that it helped and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Good night.